Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Video Editor Studio and today I'm gonna share with you a free title for more infographic finance pack. So let's check it out. All right, so you can download this sample by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file, just double click on it to unzip it. You will get this folder. Uh, in the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the instruction, the DRFX file, just double click on it to install it and make sure as well to install the font provided. So here it's the Lato family. You might already have them uh, installed on your computer because uh, I think it's a default fault on Windows, but it might not be on Mac. So that's why we've included. Make sure to install that so you'll be able to see the sample properly. To install it, just select all the font, double click on it, and it will start the installation process. And then for the DRFX file, same thing, just double click on it, and it will start the installation. It will open a window right here, click install, and now it's installed on your computer. Now we're in DaVinci Resolve, we're in the edit page, and we can go here in effect, down to title, and here we can search for sample, and you will get all the sample that you may already have from us, plus right here, the infographic finance sample. You can then just take it and drag it here in your timeline. This title works with any frame rate and any horizontal resolution. You can extend it as much as you would like. It will retain the animation in and it will also retain the timing of the animation out. Uh, by default, there is no animation out. Here you can just go in the inspector and select the animation out that you want. So the same one as the animation in, zoom in, zoom out, rise up, sink down, pan left, pan right, and fade out. So right now I'm just gonna select replicate animation in. So it's gonna be the same animation as the animation in, but here as an animation out. You can also here adjust the animation in. So you have pan right, pan left, rise up, drop down, zoom in, and zoom out. Also the cool thing here, you can adjust the animation length. So right now by default, this animation is about 24 frame. Uh, so it's gonna be about one second, actually a bit less, like here, for example, 17. You could decide it to make it shorter or longer. So right now in animation length, we're gonna increase it to, uh, for example, three. And as you can see, the animation is three times longer. So you can adjust that range from 0, 0.5 to five. So 0, 0.5 will be half, the animation by default and then you know five will be more than five times the animation uh, by default then here you have the size and position which uh, you can basically adjust the size of the title and the position of the title you have the rectangle color so here you have a couple of options you could adjust the level so basically make uh, disappear the box uh, behind it you could adjust the soft edge so to make it blurry all around you could adjust here the border width to make it larger. If you click here, for example, solid, you will have an outline instead. And then you could play here with the border width to have the border thinner or thicker. Right now, I'm just going to do back to solid. You can also adjust the corner radius here that will round up your edges or have uh, edges squared up. So here you can go uh, down to having like full circle, for example. Here you can adjust the color. Uh, you could also just do a gradient if you want or just one solid color. So here, for example, we could try to do a gradient uh, and we could try to change those colors here for orange, here purple. Then you have text one that you can change here. You have uh, the font, the color, the size, tracking, line spacing, and uh, of course the position of the text. You have then text two here, same exact same things. In most cases, you will just, you know, have to change the text right here. Arrow control, so here you can choose uh, if you want the arrow to point up or to point down. So here, for example, we could switch it to pointing down and we could make it red to indicate that the stock is going down, for example. And here you have one last option called background. And I'm gonna show you what it does. Basically here, you could bring uh, some footage, you know, behind that title. And if you want to have a bit more separation here between that title and the background, we could do that right there with the background by raising the opacity. And it will just create a layer between your footage and the title to create a bit more separation between the two. That background is also animated. Uh, you could uh, adjust here also the width, the height. You have only a box, for example, around it. You could adjust the corner radius. You could adjust here also the soft edge if you want to have uh, something that gradually shift from solid to an opacity that is down to zero. You can also here change the color and we've added a DVE adjustment. So here you can change the perspective of the entire title. So here, for example, we could shift 
the Y axis, the Z axis, and the X axis. So that could be maybe a great way for you, you know, to just uh, make your title look a bit more 3D depending on what you're trying to do. That's everything you can do here in the edit page, but if you need to have more control over things or if you want to add stuff to that composition, you can always just go here and go add stuff directly in Fusion. You can just double click on this and you will have access to the entire node structure and you can just simply add or remove stuff as you want. And that's pretty much it. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know what kind of video you'd like to see next and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.